Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia in Spain. Early morning, cool-ish, 20 degrees Celsius. It goes up to about 38 Celsius. So we enjoy the mornings, we are out early, doing what we have to do. And part of that doing is observing, and uh, it's a big job. One gets used to what is, and then just assume. So here we have the locusts. No, we don't have the locusts here, we have the result of their presence. This is their time to eat all the green that we supply them. And it's not only them, there are a few other bichos as well. But uh, it's a little bit too much. I mean, it's easy to find, it's easy to see, it's tasty, it's watery in these dry conditions. But uh, it's not good. The amazing thing for me is that uh, every year we have a different response of plants to what is going on. And uh, what beats me is that it will grow for two years and then in the third year it will die. So, uh, chestnut, heavily eaten. So why grow for two years and then the third year you give up? Like this one. I'm still in battle with the thistles. Um, I understand they loosen the soil, thank you, but why where I walk? So this one is already full of poking ends and then it produces its seeds and then it's even worse. I mean, this one is a, an amazing plant, this cardo, this thistle. It um, produces a lot of, or it has a lot of nitrogen fixing qualities, this specific one. But it is so dangerous, it's so offending, it's so... Uh, Penetrating, my God, on my footpath. Low hanging fruit. Wow, it's the best. Come here, pick some and have them for breakfast with some yogurt. So sweet, so beautiful. This here, this winter, wasn't cold. We haven't had a single pear on a tree. Maybe it has to do with them needing some cold temperatures. It will change. 
Your turn will show up soon. Even this whole moak. I mean, this must be, I don't know, 10 years growth. And then suddenly it's gone. Maybe because I'm watering it, it is said that they don't want to be watered in at least two months of summer for the taproot to grow. But we try everything and uh, we see what comes from it. Here we have a loquat and a quince growing together because I thought the quince was dead and then I planted the loquat. Now I have two. We have a lot of melons and watermelons and zucchini and things like that. Let's see if the mites show up early and uh, then we will have no fruit but uh, so far so good. That's why it's good to plant it all over the farm. Should you have an infestation in one area, at least another area can escape. We have planted something every meter. We have a dripper emitter every meter. But one, two, three, four, five. That one is done six. Six meters, absolutely nothing grew. We planted it three times. And uh, this part does grow, although the citrus is just hanging in there. And then a lot of nothing again. And then the hackberry that was hacked heavily with by the locusts and then a citrus hanging in there it's next to the creek shade even this is the year we told ourselves we will not so our uh, arms up in horror and complain. So it's our fourth summer and we are getting used to the Mediterranean climate. How harsh it can be in summer. So uh, to us, this is still a desert climate. If you get 40 degrees plus for many days, it's hard. This is my footpath. And look at the cardos, the thistles. And uh, it appears that when they dry out, they are even more savage.
trees that do well is the Dentisco, the Andalusian pistachio. It's not a tree, it's a bush. I try to make trees out of them, but uh, they just bush themselves every time. It is just even lying down. This is a soil with extremely high clay content and they are growing, so I'm happy. Till next time, goodbye.